Joining me today is Dave Hall. I would love to hear, if you don't mind, for people who don't know, who are you and uh, how are you connected to Mission Fest? Well, I um, I serve as the International Director of TEAM, which is the Evangelical Alliance Mission. It's an organization that's been around since 1890, uh, started in a very different era, and God's been using it for a long time to mobilize people to be involved in what he's doing and building his church around the nations. I've been in this role for about two and a half years, it'd be three years this summer. Prior to that, I was in local church ministry focused on mission, global mission, for 25 years. And before that, for several years with my family, we lived and worked in Southern Europe. So my connection to Mission Fest comes out of all of that activity, and I will be speaking at the at Mission Fest in one of the plenary sessions. Well, and that brings me to my next question. I would love to hear in a nutshell, what are you talking about this year at Mission Fest? Well, there's a, probably a whole lot of things that are going to be talked about at Mission Fest, but I'm going to focus in on the theme. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to focus in on the theme of the event, which is the love of Christ compels us. And what I want to dig a little deeper into is what is the nature of that love that Christ had that was so compelling that it shaped the life of Paul, probably the most famous missionary and example that we uh, we all look to. What was it about that love of Christ? So we're going to take a deep dive into the love of Christ and how that serves as a motivator for global mission. That sounds fantastic. Personally, um, I've written a book on love, and I just, anytime I feel the love of Christ in a new way, which is constantly, often I get teary. So I think this is such a great um topic this year for Mission Fest. I would love to know um, if you've been involved with Mission Fest Manitoba before, and if so, how do you feel that we're finally back and having this Mission Fest? Well, for, for me, uh, this is my first experience with Mission Fest Manitoba. I've heard about these gatherings over the years, but I myself have never been able to participate in one, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. I must confess, as somebody who lives in Southern California, I'm kind of excited it's happening in April, May, and not February. I know that the hardiest of hardy people in Manitoba would think nothing of that, but I'm finding great comfort in that. Okay, so you are stateside, and not only stateside, way south of the border. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually way closer to Mexico than I am to Canada. I can be in Mexico in about 45 minutes from my house. <laughs> I'm not jealous. <laughs> and I won't tell you that we still have snow on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it's gone by the weekend. <laughs> no, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I, I, I've heard so much about these kind of gatherings over the years and how the Lord has used them. So I'm looking forward a lot to being there. Absolutely. Well, really appreciate your time today, Dave, and really look forward to hearing what you have to unpack this weekend. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Looking forward to it. Thank you.